Welcome to this GIMP tutorial. So today I want to look at creating depth of field with any photograph inside GIMP. So we're going to take a photograph and we're going to change its depth of field. For that we're going to need what's called a depth map. So not all photos come with a depth map, but you can. There are free websites out there to generate them. So I'll put a link below to one that I've used, which is this website here, 3dphoto.io. I've seen there's some problems with their latest one, but they do have a link to the old uploader, which will seem to work fine for creating a depth map. So you just choose your file and then upload and it creates a depth map. Not all of them are perfect, but you know, it can work. So if we go back to GIMP and we go back to our file, you can see I've already created the depth map here for this particular one. So it creates a color file. We're going to transfer it into a black and white file for using it with GIMP. But first I'm going to open this image, just drag it onto our workspace. So this is the image that we're going to use for creating the depth map. So we're going to add a little bit of depth of field to this. As you can see, pretty much everything is in focus at the moment, but the depth map should uh, generate a map where it knows the placement of objects in the perspective of the image, or the fact that the book uh, the sofa is behind the book and the wall is behind the sofa and so on. So the first thing we want to do then after opening our main image is then to also open up our depth map. So in GIMP I just can go to File, Open and I can choose my depth map. I'm going to do Control shift j to look at it at 100%. And I'm going to convert it to a black and white image. So just remove all the colors. So I've got the colors, uh, hue saturation, and just slide our saturation slider down to zero. So the way it generates this in GIMP is, is that uh, black will be in focus, or the darker areas are in focus, and white areas will be out of focus. So I want to reverse this. So I'm just going to invert the map. So again, go to colors and go to invert and then back to colors again and go to my levels because I want to make it a little darker so I want to get a, a noticeable depth of field in there and that should be okay so I'm happy with this so now I want to I need to take this image and bring it into my main photograph because the way this map will work is, is that in the filters, you will need to refer to it as another layer. So it needs to be within my main file. So I can go to the select menu, or do control A, select all, control C to copy, go back to my main image, control V to paste. So I've pasted this as a new layer. So I need to tell again that it's a new layer. So I just click on here, create a new layer. And now I have this within the image. So I can just turn it off and select my main layer. So the main image that I'm, I want to add the blur to. I go to filter and then I go to blur and lens blur. So make sure you have the main layer. If I didn't, don't select this and you click on lens blur. If you have this layer, for instance, selected, that's turned off, nothing will happen. So you need to have your main layer selected, go to blur and then lens blur. Now under the aux input, I want to select my mass, my depth map. So I double click, select it, and I choose linear mask here. And then I just need to create uh, up the strength of this to start getting a noticeable depth of field. So you can see now the depth of field coming in nicely, where I've got a nice focus on the area here. And it's falling out of focus in the back. So if we do a turn it on and off, you can see before and after, or you can have a split view where you can view before and after. So we've got a nice bit of depth of field. You can even see that it's so precise that as we move around the sofa, which is going backwards, that it's actually falling further out of focus, which is a really nice touch. And then I click on OK, and then my blur will be applied to the main image. So that's how easy it is to 
create a depth of field for your photographs inside GIMP. Thank you for watching and if you're interested in more GIMP tutorials, mention it in the comments and also subscribe. Thank you very much.